to wait till Jeremy said I do before I go to the rules. He needs a keep since for marrying my dog. <laughs> Usually when you're looking for love, you'll never find it. When you're not looking for love, somehow love finds you. The situation Jeremy and Jenna found themselves in, I'm sure they weren't looking for love. Isn't that right, Jenna and Jeremy? <laughs> Today is the beginning of a remarkable journey for this couple. Drawing on their mutual admiration, respect, and trust, they are ready to embark on the next chapter in their lives. We celebrate the love and light evident in their relationship and wish them well on this joyous occasion. We hold marriage as a sacred union between two people who are committed to loving one another and spending the rest of their lives together faithful to each other and their journeys as one. We also know as a society that marriage is a serious institution. It requires a deep commitment, faith and trust to your spouse and a lot of patience to make it work. We have seen all of those things, their commitment to one another, their faith, trust and patience towards one another. Above all, we've all seen the love that these two wonderful people have for one another. There are few greater joys in life than finding someone with whom we truly click. This time I know I'll find my way. This time I know I'll find my way. This time I know I'll find my way. This time I know. A soulmate is someone who has locks that fit our keys and keys to fit our locks. When we feel safe enough to open the locks, our truest selves step out and we can be completely and honestly who we are. We can be loved for what we are and not who we're pretending to be. Each unveils the best part of the other. No matter what else goes wrong around us, with that one person, we're safe in our own paradise. Our soulmate is someone who shares our deepest longing, our sense of direction. Our soulmate is the one who makes life come to life. This time I know I find my way. This time I know I find my way. This time I know I find my way. vested in me by the Universal Life Church and by the state of West Virginia under the eyes of the universe. I happily pronounce you husband and wife. Jeremy, you may now kiss the bride. Jenna ever told me
told my mom about Jeremy. She told our mom she was going to hang out with a boy, and my mom was expecting maybe someone she met from college. Little did she know it was someone she met at DUI class. <laughs> so uh, one time, Jeremy and I discovered that our size 11 hick boots don't fit very well next to each other in the back seat of a cop car. <laughs> we were sitting in the processing room, handcuffed to the ground for urinating in public. Je Jenna comes barging through the doors, yelling, I'm here to get both of my boyfriends, where are they? Talk about somebody that cares for you. The officers promptly told her, ma'am, you cannot have two beers in here right now. You're going to have to step out. best friend, the person I strive to be, and most importantly, the best sister I could have ever been blessed with. I'm so happy that you found a love like you and Jeremy have because you deserve nothing less. My hope along your devoted journey as husband and wife that you will look back on who you chose to stand beside and remember the reasons that you asked us all to stand here with you. I love you both very much. Congratulations. So everyone raise your glass and give a cheers to the newest bride and groom. Soul shaker,